And in this project, we're finally, after much, much work, going to install the dimmers in my RV. And I have two of them I'm going to install. One dimmer is going to be for what I call the salon, or the main living room area. And the other dimmer we're going to use for the LED strip light that goes under the awning. And like all my projects, if you want to go to my website, you'll find many, many details on how this is done. And to make it easier to install the dimmers, I've created a panel board. And here are the two dimmers for the two channels. And after I looked at how the LED light fixtures are wired, I decided I needed high side dimmers, which these are both high side. I'm going to be using remote on off switch. And so we have the relay board here, the expansion board. And I'm going to change this when I do the automation project. But for now, I've just added a couple of these little relay switches. Uh, just to have something to turn it on and off remotely. And this area of the board is reserved. And this is where when I upgrade this part, I'll have the relays for the awning. And then I just have a couple terminal blocks so I can wire everything in. These wires here go to the existing LED switches. And here is one of the wiring harnesses. This one says Salon. Uh, the off switch is here. And then this dims. And then we have an auto off for the timer. And then we just have a on off switch to turn the dimmer on and off. And we have the three wire connection for the dimmer control potentiometer. We have the two wires that go to the dimmer to change the mode on, dim, and off. And these are two wires that go to the remote third input so we can enable or disable the auto off. And then this goes to the relay to turn the whole thing on and off. And this may be hard to see from the camera, but here I got a flashlight on it. And as I back up, you can see that it's inside the control panel. And on our automation switch, I can turn it to base and Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi is not installed yet. We have base only installed. What that means is the relay should work. And they certainly do. You can see a little red light on the dimmer that is detecting it. So that part works. Now here is the two wires going to the switch. Now I'll be able to just separate those two wires and hook the dimmer up. So here's the two wires that were on the dimmer switch and then these two wires now go up into my dimmer module. If I depress this switch we can see the lights are on. They're dimmed. And off. And we ought to be able to do the same thing here. On, dim, off. Look at that. And then the switch number two, there's the lights. It's on, it's dim. Kind of hard to see in the daytime, but they're there. And it's off. So now to recap, here we've got the two dimmer controls. These are push button controls here. And this turns the light off. No current flows when this is off. And then we have the auto off. And I've got it set for four hours. So in four hours, if I don't do anything else, these lights will turn off automatically. Push it again, and we're dim. Push it again, we're off. So on, dim, and then the dim controls here. And then off. I think this project come out really good. Thanks for watching.